Hello, I'm back again with another video and uh, today's video we're going to be talking about how to calculate the area of uh, different um, geometric figures. So let's start. So I'm going to create a project first. Project and you do Visual C++ Windows Console Application and we're going to give it a name. Uh, well, I'll give it a name. I can do area of geometric figure. Uh, we can just say yes and it's going to start our project and this is our project so first thing i'm going to do i already have the code written down i'm going to copy and paste the code and i'm going to explain each and every line so let's do that all right let's make it a little bit bigger all right okay so this is the code. What this code does is actually it asks for the user. So we're going to start uh, from beginning. Um, so the main problem uh, with this code is a uh, or main focus of this code is to find the uh, area of different uh, geometric figures. So we have, um, I'm going to change this a little bit uh, so that it is more readable. Uh, first thing, we want to take the input from the user as a character and we're going to store that in a dimension. And then we have the double type. The double type is a number with the decimal on it. Uh, we have double type area, length, base, width, and radius. And we have constant double. Uh, we have, uh, it's, a, it's a tradition, it's a convention that we always um, capitalize the constant in C++. So we have constant, double, pi, and um, this number, as you guys know, this is the uh, value for pi. It could be, it can have more digits after nine, but we're just taking five digits up to decimal in this case. So first thing we have is we said C out. That means it will print this line on the screen when you just run this program. So enter A, B, C, D, E. So we said enter A, B, C, D, E, but we didn't actually uh, explicitly like detail, tell them like what uh, A, B, C, D, E does. So we're gonna do that right here. So I'm gonna say enter A for uh, triangle. B for rectangle. C for what I have for C. Okay, C for circle and D for square. N E to exit the program. So we first we have do here. Let's not worry about that. I'll come back uh, to that later and explain what it's doing there. So first we said enter A for triangle, B for rectangle, C for circle, D for square, and E to exit the program. And then user enter something C in, and we store that in dimension. And we have switch statement. What switch statement does is uh, we have uh, we can have a value inside the switch statement. So dimension is a is a variable and uh, which hold um, character. That's just one letter word, uh, one word. Um, so it it could hold a character. It could be a b c d e, but it can hold just one character. So um, switch. We have the variable inside the switch, and then we got the open parenthesis, and we got the close parenthesis right here. So inside the switch, um, the way we write the switch statement is case A. So case A is when this dimension is A, this block of code will execute. And case B is when the value of dimension is B, uh, this block of code will execute. Case C is when the value of dimension is C, this block of code. And you get the idea. And when the value of dimension, that dimension is E, we just exit the program. That's what we have said here, right? Enter A for triangle, B for rectangle, C for circle, D for square, and E to exit the program. So 
first when user enter a that means they wanted to find the area of triangle we would say for the area of triangle please enter the length of triangle we need to know the length and base in order to find the area of triangle as you guys don't know i'll show you the formula that i have written down here so for the area of triangle we need we need to do half um, times l times b length times base for square l square uh, for rectangle l times b and for circle pi r square so these are the formula um, to calculate the area of different geometric figures so we're going to use the same formula to calculate the the area of these geometric figures in our code so let's get back to the code so for the triangle we ask user for length and base and what do you, what we have done we have uh, done length time base times 1 over 2 1 over 2 is 0 0.5 so we have 0 0.5 here so this will calculate the area of triangle and store that area on the variable called area which is um, declared here area and then we say the area of triangle is area so we um, ask them length and base and we calculate the area and display the area back to the user and what if they have enter b if they have enter b we did the same we ask them length and width in this case because we're calculating the area of rectangle we multiply the length with width and then um, show the result back to the user and for circle we have pi r square so radius time radius is radius square and we got the area calculated so then back to the user and if it's d when they enter d that means they wanted to find the area of square so simply we just do length time length store in area and um, display it back to the user what if they enter e we're just gonna exit the program that's what the e does right we said please uh, e to exit the program so when they enter e we just simply exit the program and you might be wondering why uh, we have break statement here what break does is um, in switch statement if you if you don't have the break what will happen is this will fall through this case will be true right case a will be true and then it will execute all of this statement and if you don't have the break it just goes to next case if it is true it will execute this program as well but in our case we can't find the area of triangle and rectangle at the same time. The rect uh, geometry figure could either be rectangle or triangle. They can't be both. So that means uh, having break, we're just like, we can, we're like selecting just one case out of these five cases. So if it's, if case A matches, then we execute this program and break is just like breaking out of switch statement. Once you hit the break, it will just go right here so break is there in order to protect in order to uh, avoid fall through because what if uh, we have this um, one of these um, condition when case a is true and we execute all of this and we didn't have if we didn't have a break there we'll go to case b and execute all this again and then uh, we don't want that to happen so we have the case we have the break in order to uh, uh, avoid fall through so having break will just make sure that uh, only one case will be uh, executed. So we have this all switch statement. So let's see. Um, the reason I have do while here because uh, if you guys know we have do and um, inside this do we have all these inside this do statement. So do statement is hold all these statement, all these highlighted statement. So that means do will do execute this statement as long as the condition inside the while statement is not is true actually my bad as long as the condition inside the while statement is true uh, the do will keep executing that means when user enters a it will um, go through here execute the a and it break out and it gets right here and then it checks again if the dimension is e no so that is true so it goes back up again and then enter and so uh, display this screen again so do what do while it does is like as long as the condition inside the while statement is true 
as long as the user don't enter e we keep asking them uh, this enter um, asking them the um, different um, asking them to uh, enter different value and calculate the AF a geometric structure so as long as the dimension is not e the the highlighted statement the highlighted line will always execute well it depends inside the switch statement we can only execute one case so the reason we have dimension not equal to e is like when user enters e that means they want to exit the program right yes if they enter e so we case e exit the program we're done but if it's not e we will do that and we'll come back again we'll ask them for we will show them this message saying enter a for triangle b for rectangle and they will choose uh, one of these and they will provide us information and we will calculate the area displayed back to them and we keep doing it until they enter e so that's what they do while statement is doing here so this is the explanation code let's let's see how it works so we're going to do a debug and start without debugging so when it runs says so it's, uh, it's running building okay so we have our code running okay uh, it says uh, enter a for triangle b for rectangle c for circle d for square and e to exit so i'm going to enter a so it says for the area of triangle please enter length uh, length of a triangle so we say length of triangle is 12. it says uh, please enter the base of triangle we can say base of triangle is six it says the area of triangle is 36 which is true because uh, 12 times 6 times 1 over 2 is 36. Now instead of um, exit um, quitting the program it asks us uh, the input again it says enter a for triangle because it because we have the do while statement uh, we calculate the area of triangle and then so this case was true in when I run this code I enter A, that means the case A was true. It will calculate the area of triangle and it will break down here. But it checked, when it gets here, it checked the while dimension is not E. So yes, that is true. Dimension was not E in our case we, because we enter A. So it goes back again and display this line. So it will keep happening until we enter uh, E. So let's see, in this, this time we're gonna enter B. So entering B, for the rectangle, so for rectangle, we said length would be uh, 12 and then width would be 5. It says a 60 and that's true, 12 times 5 is 60. And again, it enter, it, it calculated the area, displayed the area back to us and it, it asks us, um, it gives display this information again because we have not entered E. So as long as we don't enter E, it the, the program will keep uh, asking us for a triangle or a rectangle it's just this line will keep displaying us whole all of this block all this block inside the do statement will keep executing until we enter e so let's do one more time so we're going to enter c this time so it says please enter the radius of the triangle so radius of triangle will say seven so and we got the, our result in decimal because we have a pi, the value of pi is in decimal. So uh, area of circle is 153 and a three digit after decimal, and uh, which is true for sure. So, and again, it displayed this uh, message again, enter A for triangle. So it keeps happening until we enter E because if you read the statement A for triangle, B for rectangle, C for circle, D for square, and E to exit the program. And we already uh, tested our case A, B, C, um, so we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and exit the program with the statement E I enter E and when I do enter it says a player press any key to continue and that's the end of the program so this is how we calculate the area of different geometric figures and I hope this video uh, is helpful for you guys uh, thank you for watching